Hello and welcome to a new video about IT systems. This time we are going to talk about again about a barcode. Huh? A different type of barcode. Last time we talked about the barcode 3 of 9. Now we are talking about code 128. Hmm? So what's up with this code 128? Hmm? Code 128. Base element of this code is the so-called module. Huh? So a module is the least possible width of a line or a gap. Huh? And each sign consists of 11 modules. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 modules. Okay, That's the width of a sign. Which of these modules are stripes and which or bars and which of these modules are gaps? We have not defined yet. Next rule. Yeah? So one sign is 11 modules width. Yeah? Next rule. Three. There are three bars. And also three gaps. The bars are black and the gaps are white. Okay? And each of these bars and gaps has a width of one to maximum four modules. Okay? So I can have a bar which is one module broad, two, three, or four. Four different thicknesses of, of bars and gaps. This means we would need a higher accuracy in printing compared to 3 of 9. Okay. Simply because I have to determine four different widths. Okay. Additionally, there is the rule that the sum, uh, the sum of all modules used in bars. So one is one, then there is three, and then the third part then must be two. Because the sum of all modules in bars must be an even number. And the sum of all modules in gaps must be an odd number. Okay, this means immediately after I read this, I can check how many modules I have found in bars yeah? and how many modules I have found in gaps. And if there is not an even and an odd number, I know ooh, I made a mistake. And maybe I have to read it again. Yeah? Would be a good idea. So this code is self-checking. That's good. Yeah? So there's self-checking code. If we are Looking at those rules, 11, 11 modules, 11 modules, three bars, three gaps, each of them is one to four modules uh, broad. Uh, the sum of all modules used in bars is an even number, the sum of all modules used in gaps is an odd number. Then we come to the conclusion that we have 107 different signs. Away label. And the teller we have even more. Because we do can shift their code tables. So all the different patterns, the different possible patterns here, they are organized in so-called code tables. And there are three of these code tables. So one and the same pattern has a different meaning depending on which code table. We are coding this. But how should we know which code table we are using? Therefore, we have a short look in how, how this total code looks like. We start with a start sign. And there are three different start signs. And 
depending on which start sign I'm using, yeah, I already define the code table I'm using. Okay, start sign defines code table. So if I'm using start sign number one, I'm using code table number one. If I'm using start sign number two, I'm using code table number two. I'm using, and if I'm using start sign number three, I'm using code table number three. And depending on the code table, I then can interpret the data which is following. So then we have the data. One sign after the other, following these rules, I know the code table, I know the pattern. I have to look up in the code table, the pattern and pack. This is the sign. Yeah? There are even more uh, because, because uh, I can shift. There are special, special signs then which can shift intermediate to another code table. Yeah? So I can read the first one with the start code table, then can I shift to another code table, then I do the next ones with the other code table and so on and so on and so on. So I can shift between the code tables, which makes the data a little bit longer. However, the, the sign, the alphabet is longer. Yeah? I have more possibilities. So data, yeah? data containing data and shift operators to shift to another uh, code table in between. Then we have the check sign. This is actually uh, pretty much as it worked in code 3.9. A little bit more complex yeah? because each of these signs has the value yeah? and the position. Okay? And I'm using the value of the sign multiplied by the position of the sign and that's then the checksum. So I build here a checksum. With position number one, one multiplied by the data, yeah, by the content of the data. Position number two, two multiplied and so on. And chuck, 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 chuck. Yeah. So I have not only, not only the values of the signs, but also the position of the signs included there. Then there is the so-called checksum and then divide this checksum and is then divided by 103 and the remainder will define the check sign. Okay. Then I'm using the sign, the corresponding sign to whatever is coming is the result of this. Yeah? I print it as check sign and then if I read it back I have this even in the odd numbers check and at the end I have the check sign and if the check sum and the check sign according to these rules are fitting together I'm pretty sure this is okay. Yeah? And then after the check sign there's the stop sign. Stop sign. Stop sign is a special sign it doesn't consist of 11 modules, but of 13, and has not, does not have three bars, but four. Yeah? So the stop sign is special and is unique. It does not matter in which code table. In each code table, the stop sign is the same. So uh, I, if I notice the stop sign, I know where the end is. Yeah? That's it. Yeah? Because of the special, character or the special sign, the special features of the stop sign, I know where the beginning and the end of the code is. Okay. And then we have some quiet zone here, the begin and the end, they must be quiet. 10 modules. 10 modules of white, pure white, nothing. This is how code 128 looks like. I will attach a file to the video. You can download it. Should be the link in the description of the video uh, about the uh, three different code pages and all, there's also the shift shift codes and so on inserted there. Yeah, then then you know how this code 128 is built. Yeah. Like I said. 
needs a little more accuracy in reading and, and, and printing because we have four different width of, of, of bars and gaps. Yeah. However, it's self-checking yeah. and I have a much higher number of different uh, possible elements I can use. Yeah. So I can code more complex things with this thing. Yeah. And con code 128 is replacing code 3 of 9 pretty much. So that's one code 128. Uh, yeah. Next time we're going to talk about yet another barcode. Yeah? And this yet another barcode is a so-called interleaved barcode. It's called 2 slash 5 interleaved. And what interleaved means, yeah? we will see then in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.